I am Eric. This is Videolux Philippines. We are in Poblacion, Makati. This is the heart of the late night party scene, but it is also a foodie scene. And we're going to be looking at a little bit of food. We're going to be looking at some bars. We might even hit some nightclubs. We're going to kick off at El Chupacabra. It is the home of the street taco. This restaurant's been here for 10 years. They made it things locked down. It's that good. This is a calamansi. It's a cross between a lime and a mandarin orange. Sometimes they call it the Asian lime. Asian lime. And you can get a pretty good burger here. And they're cheap. Another really great spot for Mexican, just a couple blocks up, is a Tota Madre. Barbacoa beef quesadilla, and chicken quesadilla, beef skewers, jackfruit burrito, supposedly similar to a pulled pork. Wow. The hummus is really good here. Spot to go for really fresh modern Mediterranean food is Naor. Great restaurant. Weekends, we usually like to kick off the night at Lips. The girls have fun, they like to chill, have a few cheap drinks, and shoot some stick. Filipinas love playing pool. Leaving Lips. Lips, Makati. Oh my God, Talaga. Could I tell you how insanely hot Lips was tonight? We're gonna roll. We're going to after hours now. Insane. Good night. Come here, girl. All right, here we go. Wow, when that when that first downpour hit, the water was freezing. <laughs> I was shocked at how cold the rain was. It's like an unofficial wet t-shirt contest today. Really though, it's all about the uh, yoga. Yeah, that's the ticket. It was like torrential rain moments ago and then just like that, sun and blue skies. It's like that in the Philippines. What a surprise. We are back at Lips. And there's a couple reasons why we really like this bar. So first off, this is the downstairs. And the downstairs is kind of like the chill vibe, right? Hang loose play some pool, listen to some good old classic rock music, and hang loose with the bros. Now, this place is pretty big. They've got a couple of booths down here, so when we're rolling with a crew of like four, five, six, or more, it's a great spot to be able to park, have a couple of bottles on the table, whatever it is you're drinking, and chill with no consumable fee. To get a big booth like this in another club or bar on a Friday or Saturday night, you would definitely have to pay a consumable fee, probably between like three and 5,000 pesos just to sit at the table. Well, of course it'll include your booze, but that's the consumable element. Upstairs at Lips is a completely different animal. It's just an outrageous go-go bar. Probably the best one on the P. Burgo Strip. So then we roll up the street to Neon Nights, which is a pretty cool club simply because it has a big dedicated dance floor. It's probably the only one on P. Burgos with a big dance floor like this. To get a table in a club like this on a Friday or Saturday night, you're definitely going to pay for a bottle package that's, of course, consumable your table fee. We had another bro that was wrapping up in the spot, so we decided to join his table, finish off his bottle, throw down, have a little bit of a dance party before we headed out to the next spot. And the next spot is another jumping club. What? Bro. Okay, my verse. She's like, um, stop focusing on me and take care of your bros. Yeah. I'm like, uh, okay, but that's impossible because you're a goddess. Right in Poblacion, everything is walking distance. Two blocks up, two blocks over. There's another dance club with a really big dance floor. However, it's not on P. Burgos. This one's on Makati Avenue, Club Urban. 
every time we roll into this spot, we have a good time. And of course, again, there's a consumable fee for the table, usually about the cost of a bottle and mixers. I think the consumable in Urban for a Friday, Saturday night standing table like this was four or 5,000 pesos. That's gonna be about 70 to $90 for the bottle and all your mixers. And if two or three dudes or four dudes split that, I mean, you could be throwing down as little as 20 bucks for a table in the club. One of the things I like about Club Urban, besides the fact that it is a big club, is that the way they have these standing tables, these cocktail tables set up, really allows you to mingle with the people that are hanging out in your area. Filipinos, in general, are pretty friendly, so when they see you partying, and they're partying, it just sort of becomes one big party, as you can see. What's also great about Club Urban is that it's really a local vibe scene. I mean, I would say tons of college girls in here, which is great. But the real great part is that there's no freelancers in this joint. It's an organic club. Insane. And now for something completely different. These little residential streets and these little houses. <coughs> They're actually kind of nice, some of them, with the gates and the... And the little porches and stuff. This is the one we're looking at today. It's huge. It's 17,000. We think we can talk them down to 15K. It's got a whole roof deck up there. You can see it. Full covered roof deck. Three floors. Balcony. It's not bad. Second bathroom. Small bedroom. Porch. Bigger, but still small. This is the largest bedroom on the second floor, and it's tiny. And apparently, uh, <laughs> this is where the aircon goes. Let's hope it fits. Jesus. I guess this is a bed for you. And then this is the terrace. It's so skinny. It's like, what? It's like, it's like why bother? It's actually four bedrooms. I mean, they're so tiny. I don't even know if you would consider this a bedroom. I guess it is. And then the uh, third floor foyer area and a very nice roof deck. Huge roof deck. This is what I'm talking about. What I'm not crazy about is even though it's an awesome big roof deck, just sort of like it looks out right into the, the neighbor's house. Right across the street is his roof deck. And they're like all out there doing their thing. And like, you literally like are close enough to shake hands. No thanks. I do like these garden rooftops. What I don't like is that they're so close that you can literally see your neighbor doing his whatever. That one definitely had the roof deck style that I like, but the rooms were so tiny. And the way the houses are set up, sometimes they don't get a lot of light in. And the thing I love about the house we're in now is that it lets in tons of light. And the rooms are huge. Ten. Ten. A lot of fried food, baby. Street squid. Slipping. It's delicious. Like, I've always been a big fan of calamari. And there's a couple of really good restaurants in Manila that serve calamari well. And this street squid, it's 
about as good as any of those high-end restaurants. It's just five pesos a piece. It's a house. Pasik Lenke is huge. It's, I would say world famous, but it's probably not. It's Philippines famous. And uh, you can get anything and everything here. Today, I need a new cell phone case. Could not get a grab. <clears throat> so you had to come down to the uh, Palenque where you can either get rides from the Jeeps or we'll walk down to get a taxi probably. I shot a video about the Palenque a couple years back. I haven't really been here, but it is huge. I mean, it is blocks of grocers and vegetables and wet markets and then there's stories of just every kind of product you could possibly want. I mean, from China. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and consider joining this channel as a member.